Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Well, it's beginning to be the time of year when many of us are beginning to travel to faraway destinations or maybe destinations that are not too far away to enjoy scuba diving. I'm gonna be showing you some travel BCDs, so stick with me. Now we're gonna start looking at five travel BCs. Now these BCs are not in any specific order and all I'm going to do is show them to you, describe some of the features, and let you decide what might be good for your type of dive travel. Now taking a look at the Cressy Travel BC, this is called the Light Wing, and it's a very uh, nicely styled BC, very comfortable, it's got a chest strap, it's adjustable, we've got a nice right shoulder dump here, and of course, like many of the others, it has plastic style D-rings for attachment points. It has integrated weights. So one of the others has integrated weights and the other three have just pull dumps. So that's one thing you wanna pay attention to as I go through these BCs. Now, you'll notice that these side bolsters this is, these are all back inflate BCs, of course, but this side bolster is a little bit big in my opinion, but over here on this side, it's kind of nice because it has this extended pocket that folds up and tucks up inside here if you don't have a use for it, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think only one of the other ones that you're gonna look at actually has a uh, extendable pocket. Let's take a look at the back. All right, so back here on the back, we've got a fairly low profile right shoulder dump. And over here, this is our elbow. We've got our uh, valve strap here, a single tank strap down here, a butt dump down here. And one of the things you're gonna notice back here is there are no trim pockets on the Cressy version. So let's take a look at the other ones. Now this BC is very popular and it's called the Oceanic Biolite. Now the Biolite is very, very lightweight. It has your straight dump pockets, no integrated weights on both sides. It does have the plastic, like I said, D-rings all over the place. It's got a nice chest strap that is somewhat adjustable here. And up here, it comes with a little carabiner and another connection point if you wanted to use it. Inside this pocket, there is another little softy pocket that you can put your weights in. And in addition, we've got a bungeed bladder. Now, one of the other things you're gonna notice on the BioLite, there is no right shoulder dump, which for me, is a very important asset on any kind of BC. So let's take a look at the back. All right, back here on the back, we do have the left shoulder pull dump. You can see we've got no right shoulder pull dump. We've got a nice material type tank strap. And one of the things you're gonna notice is the valve strap connects down here, not necessarily up here anywhere. And one of the big benefits on the BioLite is that you do have trim pockets back here, which for me are major assets. Now, of course, if you're going down to warm water or whatever, and you're diving and you're not using a lot of weight, that's fine and dandy. But a lot of times it's nice, especially in more of a back inflate style BC, that you're able to put some of that weight back here in the back to allow you a more natural position on the surface. All right, so let's take a look at our next BC. This is the Aqualung Zuma, one of my choices if I was going to be doing a lot of traveling. And of course, I put uh, a link to my favorite BC, which is the Aqualung Axiom. Up, I'll stick it up here in the corner. But the Zuma is kind of like um, Axiom Light, I guess would be a good way to say it. Now, it is one of the BCs 
that has integrated weights, which uh, again, I talked about the first one, which was the Cressy. This is the only other one that has integrated weights. It has a fold down pocket underneath this side, kind of like we saw on that last BC. And of course, up here, we've got a right shoulder dump. We've got a nice long inflator deflator, which makes it very handy. We've got an adjustable chest strap. And one of the other things that I like about it is we've got a mounting point here for a small cutting device, which would be very, very handy. Let's take a look at the back. We've got our standard tank strap. We've got our valve strap up high, which helps again make the tank a structural part of the BC. You can see this right shoulder dump is very low profile. And of course, you can actually pull dump off of this left shoulder on this particular BC. There are no trim pockets on this BC, which for me, again, is a slight deficit. Now this is the Scuba Pro entry, and this is called the Light Hawk. Now this happens to be an extra, extra large BC. So, you know, it, it appears really big. We do have a right shoulder dump. There is a left shoulder deflator dump and what they call an instructor valve back here. I'll show you in a minute. We've got the chest strap. It's fully adjustable. We do have strictly the dump weight pockets. There are no integrated weights here. And this is a extremely, even though this is a 2XL, this is an extremely light BC. So if you're looking for the lightest of the bunch, this is probably going to be it. All right, so back here on the back, we've got our standard tank strap, but we also have an upper tank strap. And this is a little smaller. It's just made to help secure the BC uh, to the tank. And we also have a valve strap, which again, helps make that tank an integrated part. We've got our butt dump, but on this particular BC, the butt dump is located on the inside where most of the others, the butt dump is located on the outside. The majority of these come with a brand new inflator hose. One of the other things that's really nice about the Light Hawk is the fact that this has a nice uh, neoprene rolled collar so it's very, very comfortable on your neck. Now, like I said, this particular BC does have trim pockets, which for me is a big plus for the Scuba Pro Light Hog. Lastly, we're going to move to the Hog Travel Pro. Now, this is a fairly new BC on the market and has done extremely well. It's got a nice long inflator, compact inflator deflator mechanism. It's got a right shoulder dump. It's got your not integrated, but your pull down quick release, quick dumps. And of course, it's got a nice comfortable back pad. Uh, very, very simplistic type BC. And I think it would be uh, probably on the the lower price point of all of these BCs up here. It's got some miniature D-rings here and on this side, which is kind of a nice thing because of the connection point. It's also got some fabric loops here where you could add a carabiner if you would like to, which is kind of a plus and you know, allows you to uh, customize the BCD according to the way you want to do it. This BC has two tank straps and it also has a valve strap. We've got a low profile right shoulder dump and we've got a left shoulder pull dump. And of course, when you noticed on the front, we had a somewhat adjustable chest strap. Now that's a look at five travel BCs. I hope you've gotten a lot of information about which ones have right shoulder dumps, which ones have trim pockets, which ones have integrated weights, and which ones have just pull dumps. All of these factors 
will figure into the choice you make for your travel BC, for your upcoming travel. Now, we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I hope you're one of them. I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply, and if we can help you, call the 800 number and ask one of our divers for more information about any of the BCs here or any of the BCs on our website. So as we always say here, thanks for watching. 